Anyone who's ever shot a ball and liked it remembers what got them into pool. For me, growing up in the 70s, it was Steve Miserak. Well, it, it may sound funny, but I think that I was exposed to pool before I was born. Uh, it was a thought in my father's mine basically he was a good player uh, when I was four years old he put me on a pool table and he said play I shot the eight ball on the side and have been playing ever since um, and got to where I am now after 52 years of hard work and dedication When I was younger in my career, and when I was in what they call dead stroke, I felt that I was invincible. I knew what I could do and went out and did it. The good Lord gave me a talent. And he said, do the best you can with what you got. And I think I did the best I can with what I had. And a few teachers on the way helped me, Moscone, uh, and a guy out of New Jersey by the name of uh, Doc Hazard, E.C. Hazard, he was called, and Frank Paradise, famous cue maker. They, he he helped me also. Uh, a lot of some of them taught me some stuff. Of, but basically, I was uh, I lived around the hub of pool, the East Coast, and my father was Eastern States champion, and uh, took me to a lot of places, and I saw a lot of people play, and I just tried to emulate what they did, and um, hey, I became pretty good. What is the high point of your professional career? What are you proudest of? I've had so many high points that it's hard for me to to pick one. I've, I've got to pick a couple. Uh, winning the first U.S. Open back in 1970 was a high point in my career. Uh, never thought I'd be the best in the, in the world at what I did. Uh, and then back in 1982, uh, when everybody had me washed up and everybody had me gone, and you know I was going through a tough time in my life at this at this point with personal problems, and, and I broke away from that tough time and won the world championship in 1982. And uh, that was self-gratifying to me that everybody gave me up for, for gone and, uh, and I won it. A anyway, I won in 82 and in 83 just to prove that they were all wrong and it wasn't a fluke. You don't have a pool table here, right? No. A couple shots shooting, no. You kidding? Everybody be playing? Yes, sir. As good a player as Steve was, his real genius was in the showmanship that he brought to the game. With his combo of class and charisma, he single-handedly rekindled the dying game whose drama and complexity were being lost in the feel-good times of the day. Steve reminded us all how much fun it was to play pool, and even more fun to play it well. Here we are at the U.S. Open. It's 6 o'clock in the morning, and we're doing trick shots. 18 professional tables on the floor. It's the 25th anniversary of the U.S. Open. It's in Chesapeake, Virginia, and we're here having fun. Some of these shots you can do, but some of these sh shots you can't do. If it's difficult, go to your neighbor's house and do it. Don't do it on your table. How would you like to see a nine ball game ended in about nine seconds? Watch.
maybe 10. A little tougher shot here. We're going to try to make four balls. The one in the side, two in the upper corner, three back here where I'm standing, and the four ball across the table. Watch. Hopefully we can do this. Very simple shot. It went first time. Thank you very much. This is the Miller Lite shot. Took me 181 times and eight and a half hours to do. I know if you've got a lot of video, I'll do it for you before we go home tonight. We got, we got the sound in the background. Three different shots. I shoot the cue ball into the rail. I make the six go here. The eight goes here. Cue ball stays along the rail. I shoot the three in the side. The four goes in this pocket. Cue ball comes along this rail where I make the seven in the side, the eight across the side, the five in the side, two in the corner, one in that corner, and the cue ball goes all around the table and makes a nine, and you beat your opponent. Remember, it took me eight and a half hours, 181 tries. If you've got the time, I've got whatever you want. First shot's rather easy. And the cue ball floats into this position. You get the idea, don't you?